It's Faith here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to basically cover everything I know. So it's going to be big. <laughs> so open up your Lightroom. I'm going to use Sam's Lightroom because it's really nice. Change the text to whatever you want. It's Faith. There we go. Okay. What you want to do is click this button. Save. Do the name of it. So I'm going to do Faith. And if it's text, do text, then reg. Then you want to make sure you have these two selected. Or if you don't have this in your Lightroom, then just don't even bother using it. If you do, it would help. So then click this button to render it out. And when it's done, yeah, I'm not going to do that though. And then when it's done, you just come back, do cell, direct to cell. Unclick these, click cell, click cell, render it out. Click that. So I'm just going to use um, the phase logo as an example, file place. This is your reg in a way. Now you're going to place it on your cell. And then do color dodge. And there. Okay. Now I'm going to teach you about logos. So just delete everything you have here. And then do file merge. Um, if you go into my GFX pack, go to GFX pack 2, AIs, then you, yeah, you can do this. But you cannot just place an image in here and expect it to turn 3D. You have to have an AI. So I recommend you download my GFX pack. I'm just going to use the Dare logo as an example. Okay. And then you can see it's like all lined and weird. Um, what you want to do, so you see how it says Dare. If it has a plus sign, click it. If it doesn't, then just do extra nerves but since it does click it, it has two of these so what that means is you're gonna wanna get this extra nerves copy and paste it so you have two of these so say there's like three of these there doesn't count by the way um, so like say there's like four of these you might have to get four of these extra nerves so path one drag under extra nerves one like that delete there then you're going to minimize it or click the minus sign. Sorry for getting confused. Um, if you have any questions, add me on Skype and I'll be happy to help you. So make it, oh wait, select all of them. See where it says object movement, go on 20, make it like around uh, 60. Then click this button, drag it so you can do this view. Okay, so these extreme nerves equal one dare logo basically. So what you want to do is when you have them selected, go to caps, fill a cap, and this is an effect I'm teaching you. You do not have to do this. It's just something I want to teach you guys. So where it says radius, radius, um, bring these down to three, and then three, and then you're gonna copy and paste these two things. So now you have another dare logo basically. And then on the radius and radius of the top or the second dare logo copy. You're going to do 5 and 5. Then what you're going to do is when you have these two selected, object, bring it down to 7. Yep, that's small. Then do whatever color you want. I'm going to do orange. Wait, and okay. Let's drag it right onto these two. Yep. Okay, so then you're going to drag this back when you have it on the movement tool. Bring it back like over here. See that? Right there. So it's behind like the front. Then just keep on copying, pasting it, and just dragging it over. Okay. Then move it back. Then you have a really cool effect. Now I'm just going to make it smaller. Okay. Move it over a little. That's fine. Okay, then you're going to save it. So save dare logo um, reg. Yeah, whatever. Then do same thing as you would with your text. Render it out. I'm going to do it really quick and I'll pause it when everything's done. Make sure to do the cell render too, and then yeah, that'll be all done. Okay, so that's all done. And now this part of the tutorial is all for like basic, basic beginners. So if you don't have a Lightroom or you don't even know what that is, just open up Cinema 4D. That's what it's going to look like. Yeah. So go to MoGraph, 
text object. Then you're gonna get text, change it to like um, tutorial. Then click on it, drag it over to the middle, click on the rotate tool, rotate it so it's like flat. Then you wanna make it more 3D. So do the, click on that, and then do depth, change it to around like, everything is good, like that. There you go. Lift it up a little bit, it looks a little weird. Make it red. Um, reflection, click that, put that on 20%. Yeah, that's what I'll, um, then just drag it right onto it. Right onto it there. Then for saving, you're gonna do for that, this button. Save as, or save. Do, um, tutorial text. Save. Then format. Make sure it goes right on PNG. Has to be on PNG. Then all that should be fine. And alpha channel has to be selected. And everything else is right there. Everything else you need. Then render it out by clicking this button. And when it's done, that's all you got for Simo 40. It's fine. So then just quit everything. Quit everything. Okay. Now once you're in Photoshop, you're going to want to drag your text or whatever you're doing. So I'm going to do my logo. I usually put on the drop shadow and gradient. Here's my drop shadow and then gradient. Put that on overlay. Yep. But, mm, wait. There, that looks better. No, it does not at all. It's too white. Whatever, that's fine. No, I don't even want a gradient on. <laughs> oh, there. Okay, so then you're going to make a folder. Name it whatever you want. Like, if you're doing text, do like a text, or since I'm doing logo, do dare logo. Drag it under. Then do file, place again. Um, find your cell. There. Then put that on color dodge. There. Then if you want, you can put some textures on. I'll put one on. Like that. Then rasterize it by right clicking on the layer. Rasterize layer. Command U or Control U. Colorize. Then you can change the color of it. This is optional. Buy to it. So if it's on, um, like, change to orange, I'll put the saturation down so it's, like, somewhat orange, somewhat, like, gray. Then, when you have that selected, do layer, create clipping mask, and so that means it only goes on this. Okay. Now close that up. And now I'm just going to answer questions, and then I'll be done. Okay. I guess this tutorial is going by pretty fast. Um, this is like right when I started GFX, so it's like not the best. Like I know a lot more now, but it should still help beginners. Like even I did Lightrooms. Like um, wow, sync background. See, that's like the old Cinema 4D I used to use. MoGraph, text object, same thing. Okay. Um. I do not know the font because it was so long ago. I probably didn't even do a font. Um, I do not do intros. And yes, and will just teach you, you know I'm 12. Okay. When I bring up my picture in Photoshop, it has a black background and looks really pixelated. How did you get white background? Um, let me see Photoshop. Oh, okay. So, what you gotta do is open up Photoshop. If it's black, well, you might want to do, um, you might have to click File, New. Then do all that, okay. Then there it is. I already have it. Or if, like, 
then just do background. It's going to show up as a great um, gradient. Just hold it, then do paint bucket tool, then make it black. Click or make it white. Whatever color you want. Okay. Um, what else is there? You can download light strokes in my. V uh, wait, do I have them? I think they're in my. Uh, wait, light strokes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my um GFX pack. I'm too busy to do that at the moment. And yes, I have an Xbox. Please add me. My gamer tags jump faith. I'm really bored. Um. See my work as a picture when I get a preview of my clothes are all messed up. I think I know what you mean. It's like, um, hmm. If it's in Cinema 4D, you probably like have the light right on the text. That's why I use Lightrooms. And um, if it's in Photoshop, just put the opacity down on the light. This is a black background. I just did, went over that. It doesn't let me open my Cinema 4D file, PNG, in full size. Okay. What you want to do is hold. Yeah, so you're going to close that. Click on their logo. Then do Control T or Command T, depending on what you're on. And then you're going to see this. Just drag it up and down. And if you want it to be like perfect going up and down, just do Shift. Um, yeah, Shift. And yeah, there, there you go. Uh, what else is there? How you can totally change the color or something. Okay, so I'm just going to place... Uh, space image. Like that. See how it's like blue. See that little piece of paper right there? Yep, you're going to right click on that layer, rasterize layer, so there it's gone. Control your command U, colorize. Then there, drag it whatever, make it like lighter or darker, different color, but yeah, whatever. And then, just gonna keep on going with this. This takes no skill, and I would like to see you do GFX because I know you edit. Um, get textures in your in my GFX pack. Yeah, where you cover that? I need help, man. Please help, or you cover that? I make pro YouTube backgrounds. This some backgrounds. Subscribe, miss me. Okay, let's see this. On the holidays, selfie film to make me. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, so if you really, you only live once, that's great. Everyone knows that. If you really want a background for me, message him, but this is what you're going to get. 2D background like that. Or if you want, message me. Then you'll get something like this. Swag. Wait. Frozen. Okay, there. Swag. Okay, history... Risk blame. Um, I don't really know what else there is to cover. Hmm. Yep, yeah, I don't know why I did that. Six nineteen. I am self taught. Cute voice, I know. Yeah, save as PNG. No 
No, I do not want to be a junior. Do you pay for the packs? Nope, mine's free. I do not use Dare Jones or Auras anymore. I just use Dare Jones um, texture thing. That was really cool. I use like, um, I don't really know. I use like the AE Studios one. All these different ones. But yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and comment if you need help with anything or add me on Skype. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.